The Chicago Bulls just recently added Javante Green. Woo, in the building on a 10-day contract. What does this mean for Javon Carter? Are his days numbered or it's just this nothing? Y'all know we're going to talk about that and end the show off talking about that matchup tonight versus the Boston Celtics. Y'all already know, though. You got to hear the music. First. Cognac. Yeah. Gang. Shot Bulls podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby. And I'm joined with my dog, C-Dub. How you doing, Bob? I'm feeling great, man. What's the word, man? Hey, turn it up a little bit. But, hey, if you're tuned in with us today, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. C-Dub, the Chicago Bulls went on out here, and they brought a familiar face back to the organization, Javante Green. Javante Green is a player that we love to see when during his time with the Chicago Bulls. He always tried to dunk on somebody. But does this mean anything for the Chicago Bulls? And is this something directed towards Javon Carter with him, his days being numbered? Or is it nothing? How you looking at this whole thing? Mm-hmm. Uh, could you hear me? Am, am, I, am I clear? Okay. Good. Um, this is a great thing, first of all. I am so happy that we found Javante Green. I have no idea where he been for the last year and a half. You know, the G League. In the G, he was in the G League. Santa Clara, I believe. Where would ever go to state? It's just like he belongs on this team, bro. We we remember Wu Joe. He trying to dunk everything, putting his body in in harm's way, uh, hustling on defense, playing your guarding Giannis. He only six four. And doing the best that he could. He actually did have some great moments against Giannis. So, when you look at is Javon Carter's day's number, I hope they are. I hope they are. Uh, I I was looking at Javon uh, Carter's uh, shooting percentages uh, for the year. He had the low 30s in field goal percentage from the field and low 30s from three. And what's the most troubling stat for me is this is a six- Let's call him 6'1 guard. He's shooting 57% from the free throw line. This guy's having a miserable season. I don't know why we waited this long to try to replace him. If indeed Javante Green is a replacement, it better be. Um, I think his days is numbered, Javon Carter. I know he is old um, two more years. He got a nineteen and a half million dollar contract with a three three year contract, nineteen and a half million. But it's time to eat that. Trade him or eat it, because it's just not working, bro. Javon Carter or AKA Catfish, he is not helping this team, bro. He had a couple games way early in the season where he was okay, but I I I challenge everybody in the chat. Name me five games with. Well, uh, I'm about to call him Catfish. Well, Javon Carter actually had a great impact for this team. So it's time to cut our losses. Let's get Javante Green in here. I ain't even seen a play all year, and I know he's going to be better than Javon Carter. So, <laughs> so, so let's go ahead and get this thing out the way, bro, because come on, man. We got 12 games left. I don't know what you're going to do for Bulls front office, but – if anything, at the very least, let's keep Javon Carter set and let Javon Green go in there and do his thing. I mean, Javante Green go in there and do his thing, man. Yeah, I think it's something that you really got to talk about. I mean, me personally, I'm interested to see what, how, how is this whole thing going to play out. I know the last time we seen the Chicago Bulls, Javon Carter was a DMP. Correct me if I'm wrong. DMP. Um, uh, Dale and Terry seen those bulk of the minutes, and I'm all for it. Now, if you want to call on a guy like Javon Carter, I think you gotta. He's a he's shown that you gotta have a short leash with him. I mean, because I can I can't name you five games. I can name you one against the Clippers. He was on <laughs> like two weeks ago, a week oh, or two ago against the Clippers. He was on, but then he yeah, fizzled yeah. right back out the game after, and then the game after, and then a DNP. So 
that's just how we got to look at it. And I think he's just one of those players you got to have a short leash on him. Look, y'all, I ain't going to bring up why he having a bad season. But if you're a follower of this channel, you know why. <laughs> you know why. <laughs> but we ain't going to keep revisiting that. But I will say this. If Javon Carter is somebody that's supposed to be giving me that dog mentality, that solid defense, that get up under your skin type defense, hit occasional threes, be able to make some effort plays, I believe I'm getting that times two from Javon Carter. For Javante Green. Yes, Javante Green. I'm getting that times two from Javante Green. They damn name too close together. Javante <laughs> Green. Is, it is. Javante it Green. Is. He's not a, a exceptionally great three point shooter, but has Javon Javante Carter Green. been that this season? No. No. So I could get a guy that's going to cut hard to the basket and try to dunk that bitch on you to add another element to my offense in Javante Green. That Javon is. Carter ain't doing that. <laughs> on the defensive end, Javon Carter is solid. I give him that. Mid. Javante Green is he 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 on that level or well, much better. Yeah. So if you're trying to improve, if you're trying to see what you can get out of these young players because the leash is so short with Javon Carter, give me Javante Green. Let me see what he can do. I, I'm anxious to see. We could be wrong, but I'm anxious to see how it all is gonna turn out. Yeah, and, and normally when you got somebody who struggle, they just struggle for a little bit, usually in the beginning of the season or at the end of the season. But this guy been struggling for like months now, like for most of the season. He had like a, a, a good start. I think it was okay, a okay start. But normally when you something that's okay as a basketball player, you have had those slumps, but they don't last the whole fucking season, bro. This this Let's cut the losses, bro. Let's, let's cut it out, bro. The man has been an absolute laughing stock for the for the Chicago Bulls all season, especially after the All Star break. It's got progressively worse and worse on the basketball court. I've been even trying to pump him up on these laugh calls, like here come he come he come and he finna score, but he just been letting me down at every step of the way. Let's put Javante Green, which I agree with my nephew, is going to be a better viable option than Javon Carter, who is a complete and utter letdown or catfish for the Chicago Bulls. <laughs> That's how it's going to be. But we're going we gonna to see what happens, man. We're going to see. We don't know if those, those days are numbered. I don't necessarily think so. If you talk about the contract, I think that they're going to let him play it out. Another contract that I feel like we got to have to break down is why do they give Nikola Vucevic a three-year deal? Ugh, looking, That's looking real bad. But uh, <laughs> Nephew, nephew, say that again, and I want you to believe it when you say it. I want you to say they going to let Javon Carter play his contract out here. Say that shit again and believe it when you say it. I, I, I do believe it. What has the front office shown you these last two seasons? They not willing to move off of people. But does that make sense? It don't make any sense. He's it horrible. don't make sense, but we not the decision makers. <laughs> bro, bro. That's like that's like just learning to walk, bro. That's it should be automatic, bro. You gotta cut you. He's not good. You have to cut him, bro. Even at the very least after this season, bro. You can't do it, bro. Trade it to some other sucker. We was the sucker this year. Let somebody else be the sucker. For sure. For me. Uh, hey. That's it, but that but that's just what it is. Nah, they they haven't shown that they're willing to move off players. That's true. That's all I'm saying. That's true. But hey, yeah. tonight's matchup we got the Boston Celtics coming into town. C Dub, the Chicago Bulls, the last two times faced the Boston Celtics, got their ass whooped. Yeah. In the matchup in November, ninety-seven to one twenty-four. That's a whooping. 129 to 112 on February 22nd. That's what nice. are you expecting from this game tonight? All right, we got some hope, nephew. You want to tell What's you the what hope? the hope is? The hope is Jason Tatum is my is questionable with an ankle. Al Horford is questionable with a toe. And Drew Holiday is questionable with a shoulder. Before before y'all start doing jumping jacks and start cheering though, they just played the Pistons uh yesterday and they and Pistons beat us twice. And they just destroyed them by 27 points. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? This team is an absolute juggernaut. They have beaten us two times out of two this season already. But usually we always get a win, at least one win against the Boston Celtics for all I can remember like the last 10 years. Uh, this team, you can stay in the game early, but eventually it comes that avalanche of threes because they're going to get them up. They got shooters all over the court, even without Jason Tatum and Drew Holiday and Al Horford. They got shooters all over the court. So eventually an avalanche. And y'all remember them avalanches from Golden State when they are just all of a sudden you up eight and then they start to get hot and now they up 15? This team is double time net. <laughs> You're double time net. You got Jalen Brown, Derek White, a whole bunch of Housers and 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 Perzingis's and all these type of people knocking down threes. Bro, this is gonna be a tough task, nephew. This is gonna be tough. Bro, oh, this is definitely no, gonna be a tough task because it's gonna be bombs away from the three point line. The Bulls gonna have to come out here and guard the perimeter with extreme precision <laughs> on me. Even if yeah. they don't have Jason Tatum, they still got a guy and a dog in Jalen Brown. Yes, they still got Derek White. You mentioned the guy, and I seen Peyton Pritchard do a a, a tween tween step back fadeaway jumper three. It's good. <laughs> Fuck you, me. I said the little motherfucker doing that too. <laughs> so yeah, the boys. And I tell you this, Demar Derozan, bro. I understand you got the old man. You know he been a little frustrated lately. Pushing mm -hmm. mugs over up against the Portland game. Pushing mugs over up in the Rockets game. You got ejected, and that hurt the squad. Don't get your yeah. ass ejected tonight. Because it could get ugly. <laughs> we if, it's lose ugly just, if it's ugly, then you go get ejected. If you win no, the game bro. down by 10, keep fighting. Keep fighting, bro. With Come the on. shots, not the fist. Put them up. Not the fist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, it's going to be tough, man. Jay LeBron looked really comfortable by himself. Uh, out there, uh, I don't think they really missed a beat. I think it could would have been even worse on the uh, Pistons with Jason Tatum, but he was out there. Out, my goodness! If Jason Tatum play, I don't know how we stop. We seen Io when he, he was guarding J uh Jalen Brown last game. He was just completely Ooh. out muscling Io, and Io is a great defender, bro. He had no shot against Jalen Brown, and then you got Pazingas. This is. He's really a unicorn right now. He's low key like Porzingis is having a terrific year, bro. Yeah, like this gonna be a hard matchup for Vooch. He had an awful game last game. Oh my god. Uh, uh, usually when he have a bad game, though, I'm gonna give him credit. He usually come back and and he have a big double double game. Um, uh, Kobe White, uh, he didn't have a particularly good game shooting last game, but uh, I. I it was a little rusty. He missed three games. A little rusty. He missed about a week. So uh, I, I expect both of those guys to be better in this game. Um, Io has been, oh, my God, he's been terrific the last three games. I think he averaged 30 for the last three games. So uh, let's see what the Bulls could do. They always surprise you when you doubt them the most. That's, that's just a fact with this team. Yeah, and they should be feeling like something. But if you could pull this win off, Hey, it'll be another impressive win. Add it on your list of the, the wins that you've gotten this season. You know what I'm saying? And they need, hey, then that just puts you closer and closer to getting your goal of being at 500. Don't be allergic to it. Let's run to it and let's let's fight it. Let's see what happens though, because it. I mean, I think if it's in the best interest that if the Bulls be like, hey, I mean the Celtics, the Bulls better hope that they sit these guys. That's all I would say. I mean, I'm giving oh, them a chance. Yeah. It's always a chance. But it's the way that they've been whooping these teams, the way they've been, and the the Bulls have to keep up so much versus a team like Boston. They got too many shooters and scores over there, and the Bulls have shown that they can go in through droughts. The Bulls have shown that they can miss a lot of threes, miss shots. You got, yeah. So you, yeah, the, the is, biggest thing is you're going to have to keep pace. Bro, and it's a couple ways they can win. Boston Celtics can come in cold. They are a three-point shooting team, so you live and die. But they've been living all season with that shit. So at times, they have this season, too. If not shot well from three, that can happen. The Bulls can come out on fire. You can't. I don't think the Bulls can, can win games without a, a aggressive Kobe White. Kobe White can come in and be aggressive. 
Uh, DeMar DeRozan can be on. There's ways they can win this game. They can play good. They are a good defensive team, the Chicago Bulls are. So yeah. they have a chance. They have a chance. And There's always a chance, man. It's, it's the NBA. Yeah. and you, they, yeah. Weird things happen all the time. So we shall yeah. see. Leave y'all predictions below. That's it for much today. C-Dub, you got anything left? Uh, Jason Tatum, just going to take to get it, the game off, bro. Just take it off, bro. You don't need to play us. We, stra- we trash, bro. So sit your ass down. For oh. sure. Definitely feel you on that. But thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Shy Bulls Podcast. Subscribe here for all your latest Bulls content. If you want to call in and be a part of one of our mailbag episodes, call in, leave a voicemail. The number's in the center of your screen if you're on YouTube. 773-242-9219. Thank y'all for tuning in. We're going to see y'all on the next one for sure. Cognac. Cognac. Gang. Gang.